15 ain't easy, unless you're watching me. Welcome home again! It's Wednesday here on the Thrift Store One Day to bring you Hollywood home on a budget. And I hope you have a notepad and a helmet with you because today I'm teaching you how to make the pearls and pitfalls of coming home work with you instead of against you as we discuss why home can be such a beautiful battleground. This time, I'm going to talk about the internal battles you fight at home. And I'm not talking about slipping the red wire or blue wire in 60 seconds to defuse that bomb in your basement or the whole world will explode. I'm talking about the everyday struggles. Like, should I add accent fabrics to my home office? What kind of lighting is best for my bathroom? Those dilemmas. No matter how minor they might be, leave it up to Nate Burgess, a graduate of Oprah's Daytime Talk Academy, <laughs> to help you major in transforming the place you live into a place you'll love by following and or adapting his home rules. You guys know Nate Burgess, right? Again, an alumni of the Oprah Show. He had his own talk show, slash decorating show, and wherever he is now, I like to think he's still fighting those dilemmas that I just said. <laughs> that with husband Jeremiah Brent, former host of Homemade Simple on Oprah's Network, own. Soleil Moonfire was the best, and she's the love of my life. But bringing it back to setup, this Hyperon publication was picked up for 50% off the price of $3.99 from Red Fire Blue Thrift Store in Patterson. I said this once before, and I'll say it again, no matter if it's Christopher Lowell of the Discovery Channel, or Paige Davis of Trading Spaces on TLC. Home decorating books are so not my forte, but if they connect to pop culture, oh yeah, we'll connect with them here, whether we like it or not. And I think you're really gonna like this. We have here eight chapters, from inspirations to organizing. And the format for this book actually goes a little something like this. We're going to start here on Small Spaces, which will be the only chapter we highlight. Ten questions to ask yourself. The questions to ask yourself before you begin a home makeover according to Nate's home rules. And then you see a couple of examples of his home rules being applied into action in makeover magic. Two of these things actually connect a great deal. One really more than the other. And then... The final home rules to take away from those makeovers. Again, living large in small spaces will be the focal point of this review. And we'll go into greater detail on this when we do You Can Do It Small Spaces by Christopher Lowell of his eponymous Discovery Channel talk show. But for now, just to give you a little bit of a teaser, we're going to highlight chapter 4 here. Space challenged rooms have earned an unfortunate reputation, but the truth about them is that they can be the most Charming. We just need to think about them as special, not small. The biggest surprise in a small space lies in its built-in intimacy. And sadly, intimacy isn't really defined by the obvious form of intimacy that one could expect if you bring the love of your life or the love of your life elect into a small space with a bed. Seriously, if you want to get a room, find a bigger space. <laughs> but whatever works for you. Anyway... 10 questions to ask yourself, expanding your horizons in small spaces, ranging from question 1, what's the purpose of the space, are you trying to make it serve too many functions, can you simplify? Okay, so maybe 1 to 3 questions packed into one category of question within this category itself. All the way to 10, are you taking advantage of all the space, such as cells, over doors, under bed storage, how to make more out of less, really is the summation of this chapter. We have here a couple of makeovers. Big ideas for close quarters. Specifically, the close quarters of Paige Davis of TLC's Trading Spaces and her husband, Broadway actor Patrick Page. This is their one-bedroom, one-bathroom apartment. Given a makeover, thanks to Nate Burkus, who put these challenges ahead of him. Defining writing spaces for walk and play. Marrying modern and rustic styles. You may kiss the trend. 
I know, that was lame. Lick the kitchen and dining area naturally and comfortably. Maximize the space in the kitchen with new storage solutions. All of those challenges he met for this makeover. And this definitely connects to me the most because, well, Paige Davis is a quasi pal of mine. I still remember her cute video recap clip that she shared through Twitter. Well, then Twitter, now X. On page by page. And I'll always remember that. I want that framed. Anyway, just as he did on the Oprah show and on his talk show, I think, he says before and after photos of the makeovers. What it was before to what came afterwards. Clearly labeled, along with a few key elements outlined here. Um, they look handwritten, but they're really not, I think. Some few key elements to keep in mind here when taking on a home makeover of your own. What can stay, what needs to go, what needs to be changed. How to make every inch count with a few key elements. Color, pattern, screens, furniture, and storage. They're further outlined in these sidebars here called Small Talk. The next makeover is a grand plan for a one room wonder. This is actually his first project for the Oprah show. It took place in an idyllic Boston block with homeowner um, Claudia DeFino. This was her brownstone. And the challenges here were to make maximum use of architectural charm, creating as much storage as possible, and keeping the overall look sleek and sick. Seek, I should say. I was throwing an added challenge here. Keeping just a small iota of that rustic Boston brownstone charm. In the same fashion as a Brooklyn brownstone, even though they are, as you know, two completely different sets of Yankees. Anyway, two for one, double duty ideas to make more out of less, and how less becomes more. These are the home rules. Uh, that you could take away from this chapter. They conclude each chapter from rule one. Edit, edit, edit. Decide what you love, what you need, and what works. Then remove everything else from the room. Stay focused. Two, rule ten. Small scale appliances and further scenes can make your space feel grander. It's not about the size that counts, even though it does count. It's about what you use with that size and that space. Um, that even though it's limited, you make the most out of. That's what really matters. And that can apply no matter how big or small the space is. Bedrooms, kitchens, bathrooms, family rooms. There's a chapter on organization, that being critical when it comes to being an interior decorator. And resu resources for finding some of the more hard to find um, things that you can find in any um, home store near or far. Home Rules goes room by room to help you create the home you deserve. Nate Burkus. It retails for $27.95 in the U.S. and $10 bucks more in Canada. $37.95. This is his first book. And I'd say for his first book, it gets a solid 4.5 out of 5. If you included a photo of the um, reaction of Paige and her husband Patrick, in their home makeover, you would have gotten a solid 5 out of 5. I'd love to see them weep a few tears a la Trading Spaces. Oh yeah, the paints are the other shoe now, Paige. And gratefully so, I think. But in any event, Nate Burkus, Home Rules. I'm not saying that a bomb of Sherwood Williams paint is going to explode in your basement, or anywhere else for that matter if you don't buy this. I'm just saying that if you're like me, it's just another fun way to venture out of your comfort zone to make you feel more comfortable on the pad that you're proud to call your own. Especially if it's Oprah inspired through six degrees of separation. That's Nate Burkus Home Rules. Let me show you what's on the docket for Thursday. If a charming but psychopathic stranger who escaped the corrections van during his transfer back to prison after being denied parole for manslaughter of which he served a 15 year stint for Showed up at your house, knocked on your door, and in the pouring rain asked to use your phone, what would you do? What would you do? Hello guys, it's Steven. I'm gonna be famous! <laughs> and I wouldn't show all over the house. Here it is. You went to the second door, the first floor. 
New York City dolls. This mattress we can change. There we go. This is my OCA living room. Chair, lamp, turtle, television, cable, some photos. Me when I was little. Clock, sofa, horse table, another chair, like this. Okay, now we have another one. The music table with the candles on. And I usually use this if I use the old thing, so. Okay. Here you can see me. Like, uh, now. That's why I always use the webcam. This webcam right there. Okay. This charger. The phone. Right I'm using right now. Stuff. My friend's phone. We can't go in. Pierce is sleeping. My mom. <clears throat> right there we enter is the kitchen. Bathroom. My room, but my my uncle's now sleeping. My bed, my photo lamp, love television, games, <coughs> photos, AC, his stuff right there. Closet. In the kitchen. Now inside another closet, we have two closets. Look at this. Television, refrigerator, some water, sink, table, oven, stove. Right there we have some stuff, freezers. We also have this one too. And photos and stuff. And a cup is right there, as you can see. And if you exit it, you got a little door right there. Watch this. Upstairs is my grandpa's house at the attic storage. And in the basement. Is my mom's sister's house for the son. It was very tall, he got bones everywhere. I wanna say thank you for watching this video all over the house. And visit my house anytime. Thanks for tuning in! Just so you know, there's no limit to Brady Hollywood Home on a budget. Please go ahead and check out another awesome review like this one by clicking here. And make sure you subscribe by clicking here. Until next time, I'll catch you, as I always do, on the flip side.